good morning YouTube. What is when I'm filming this? Uh, Rocky yet again. The title says it all. Basically, it's our car boot pickup and the rant. So, this morning I'm just back from a car boot sale. Now, if you're American and you watch this channel, <laughs> however unlikely that may be, a car boot sale. Now, I've given this some thought. A car boot sale is like a yard sale, but rather than having it in your yard, lots of people get in their cars, fill them up with the crap, drive to a usually a car park or an empty industrial building somewhere, take all the crap out of the boot of their car, or the trunk as you Americans would call it, put it all on tables, and sell it. That's what a car boot sale is. Now, what really fucks me off about car boot sales? Well, what was it this morning? The Times. It says, it's been advertised everywhere as sellers turn up at 8, you know, to get set up and buyers turn up at 9. I turn up at quarter to 9. Ooh, no, 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 no. Turns out sellers will be there since half six, seven, and buyers will be there since 8. This isn't a new thing, this really peeves me off. In fact, there's another one local to me, it's notorious. It's supposed to be, again, Sellers at 8, buyers at 9. It's more like sellers at half 6 and buyers at 7. This is the whole, got to get the bargains, got to get the bargains! People thinking there's, or people who own junk shops, or people who flip shit to buy, buy stuff and flip it on eBay thinking that, oh, if I can get there I'll maybe get XYZ for pennies and then I'll be able to sell it for lots, and, or people don't know what they're selling, if I get there early enough, because there's Two, three types of different sellers at a car boot sale. One, you've got the guy who does it sort of semi pro, he's there every weekend, he might or might not have a shop somewhere. He has whatever he has, he knows exactly what it's worth, and he's selling it for pretty much what it's worth, whether that be tools or games or DVDs or books. There's always one or two of those sellers. In the one I was at today, there was a bookseller, he seemed pretty cheap, nice guy, chat to him. There was a guy selling games, totally the price, and a woman trying to flog a white Xbox 360. Oh, it's not been red ringed, which means it has. Next type you've got is the people like like slate doing for charity. You're like you know the local hospice charity, and they're just doing a one-off. They've got all this donation stuff in, and they need to sell it all. So it starts off at I would say expensive prices, then by the end of the day, it's like. 5, 10, 20 pence, take it, go. Then there's the third type. This is the type that everybody wants. This is the people who don't sell on eBay, don't watch Cash in the Attic or all those stupid Make a Fortune programs. Basically, they fill their car up with all their crap, you know, like stuff on the attic, kids have moved out, stuff like that. Put it in the car, do the car boot sale, maybe once every six months, etc. etc. These people usually want to undercharge you for stuff. This is the ones everybody jumps on like vultures, so they can tear through the car and get all the quote-unquote bargains again. I mean, I've, I was at a car boot sale, and the car boot sales aren't a new thing in the UK, they've been around for at least 20, 30 years. I was at one when I was a kid, and what would be pulled up, and those people, before the car had even stopped, there's people like this on the car window, looking to see what was in the back seat, to see what they could buy off you, before even looking, it's, it's crazy. I mean, there are car boot sales that are close to me that are very regimented. I mean, there's one on a car park in Edinburgh, where you go in the morning, I believe you have to be there, I guess, it's 8 o'clock or something, you ever want to sit in a the car, then they ring a bell, ding, then you're allowed to sit up. If you start sitting up before the bell rings, you have to leave. And then they ring another bell when it stops, and everybody gets packed up and goes. See that? People think, oh, that's terrible. So that's the way it should be, because people don't get a fair chance to see what's there. Obviously, then you've got, of course, you've got the resellers. I saw one today. Uh, he was in front of me. He was running around, picked by every video game he saw. I mean, he just picked up a handful of Wii games. He didn't even look what they were and just off it, kept offering the woman money until she would sell a lot to him. What a shite, to be honest. I I, I, I had a real look. But anyway. So, yeah. I'm also peed off because I missed an Amiga 500 Plus in his box with boxed games like two minutes. Before I got to this guy's stall. Uh, the one I was at today, there was a few PS2 
two games uh, left. There was a PS1 third party light gun, I left that. Uh, Box Atari 2600 Junior, in fact, pretty much exactly what I've got on the cross there, I left that. Not any GameCubes, which is surprising, but maybe they were there early and they've, and they've gone. Um, what else was there? The usual crap people say. Then there's, in fact, there's another type of seller, and it's these like, people that are trying to sell business crap. It's like they're promoting their business, so you've got like, smoke with cigarettes, you know, stuff like that. Um, the usual mobile phone cases, um, cheap tools, plants, these are crap that people sell. However, I did get a pickup, which I'm now going to get to after me rambling on. And I got some funny looks guiding this thing around. Oh, crap, my hand is not made like that, so I'll have to move that to there. This comes off and moves, and you know, so I thought it should be here or here. It's a Snare Super Scope. Right, now, I've literally just got back with this, so. The guys taped the whole tip, which is a, a good and a bad idea. Good idea to so get lost. Oh, yeah. right. So, for those of you not familiar with light guns, there's usually sometimes there's stuff something like this. This plugs into your sniper Nintendo, and this goes on top of your telly. A CRT TV, not an LCD. Then you plug the game in, yeah, Nintendo Scope 6. Then you shoot at the fucking screen. This beast. Well, this controls up here and on the trigger. Now this thing takes it's some ridiculous like what's this? Oh, it's double A's um Times six double A's. Okay, you've got plenty of rechargeables, so We'll get them charged up and give us a go, I think. Um, I've always wanted one, <laughs> never owned one. I've looked at them before on eBay, um, boxed ones, but they always seem to go for silly money, so I paid a fiver for it from a really nice guy to knew what it was but didn't want to rip me off. So he was just the fuck. I always to sell this on eBay. Yeah, that a lot of car boots as well. Now, what unusual about this one is it was on a Saturday morning, usually they're all on Sunday mornings. It is on tomorrow, and there's another one closer to me on tomorrow, but that's the one you need to get up at, like, the crack of dawn, or... So, a bit more for me. So, so on my shoulder, and uh, look through there, and shoot. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it for a fiver. If it's a lot of crap, I'll just flog it on. Either a car boot, or... Whatever. But that's what I picked up today, guys, and that's me rambling about car boot seals, how... You f Another thing about car boots before I go is... There's always limited information on the internet, like people want to keep it offline. Now, people do this for a couple of reasons. One, because they're afraid that 30 million people will turn up to their local, local car boot. Also, they don't want the police stroke trading standards to know where they are, because sometimes there are people selling stuff that's either, how to put this off, dubious legality, whether it be stolen, or it's counterfeit, um, you've probably been at a car boot and seen guys selling stuff that's obviously not legal, but it sells because it's like this whole hidden economy because people, oh, another one is people don't want to report how much they earn because they'd have to pay tax on it and stuff. And if you're claiming unemployment but doing a car boot sale every Saturday, the government class that as employment. Um, but yeah, so I've got my super scope, which I will charge up. Six AA batteries for and fire up later on today. How this is going to be interesting to try and film this because it only works on a CRT TV. And if you've seen any of my videos, the CRT behind me doesn't take kindly to being filmed. But hey, guys, um, thanks for watching. Catch you in my next video. Bye bye now.